This is the Big Creek National Wildlife Area. This National Wildlife Area was established in 1973, part of the Protected Areas Network of Environment and Climate Change Canada. It was established under the Canada Wildlife Act to protect migratory birds, wildlife and habitat. The Big Creek National Wildlife Area is one national wildlife area of 55 across Canada. The Protected Areas Network comprises of national wildlife areas, migratory bird sanctuaries, and marine national wildlife areas. Prior to becoming a national wildlife area, this coastal wetland was used by hunters, trappers, anglers, from indigenous people to European settlers. This office is a regional operations center for the protected areas group of the Canadian Wildlife Service. And prior to its construction in 2016, it was a hunt club built in the 1890s. Wetlands provide habitat for fish and wildlife. They also help control flood events and protect shorelines and also provide recreational opportunities such as canoeing, fishing, hunting and bird watching. At home when you turn on the tap you have fresh drinking water to drink and one of the reasons is because wetlands are helping to protect and filter the water that comes down from the agricultural lands into the wetland and then into the groundwater which ultimately comes out of your tap. Our sister national wildlife area, Long Point National Wildlife Area, is just next door. This freshwater sand spit is home to thousands of migrating waterfowl as well as other species including frogs, turtles, snakes, mammals. There's plants in the National Wildlife Area that we have to think about too. Plants provide lots of home and habitat and food for um, wildlife, but they also can be some plants that are detrimental to some of our wildlife species, including turtles. One species is called Phragmites australis, or just we call it Phragmites. This species can actually trap turtles because it's so large and it's almost like getting stuck in a corn maze and where you can't find your way out for the turtles and some turtles end up dying in the Phragmites. Canadian Wildlife Service along with partners like uh, Nature Conservancy of Canada are working to um, take Phragmites out of our national wildlife areas and hoping to restore native plant species that turtles and other species like to live in. The Canadian Wildlife Service values programs like the Naturehood Program. This program instills the theme of environmentalism in youth today. We hope that students today will be the future generations to come that will protect and conserve these important areas that so many species use and we all love. The Naturehood Program brings many classrooms through our dike wetland systems every year to explore the species that live here. Students when they come also learn about the eco passages that are across from our dike wetland systems into the bay of Lake Erie. Um, these uh, equals passages were put in because turtles and snakes and any other animal that wants to use them were having a hard time crossing the road. These eco passages also allow light to penetrate down into the passages and so that snakes and turtles can find their way through. There's been studies on the eco passages and they seem to work quite well and they protect um, many species from getting hit on the road as we saw that this was an issue down in the Long Point area, that there was a lot of road mortality of these species. Along with the Long Point World Biosphere Reserve Foundation, CWS is helping to conserve many of these species through the use of these eco passages.